Josh, I'll, uh, I'll ask you about a memory first. Uh, there's a possibility Ryan McLeod makes his NHL debut tonight. What What do you remember about your first NHL game? Well, I think it's a lot of fun. Uh, we're really excited, and I think it just brings a uh, you know a little boost to the team. Uh, he's going to be jumping, uh, going to be bringing a lot of energy, so it'll be an exciting night. Uh, you know, I know I know mine was, and I think everybody else's was. So we're all excited for him, and we're looking forward to it. All right, uh, you know, obviously, as, as we've gone through the season, you've, just, you've seen the Jets and every other team a, a lot of times. What what do you think has lended to the fact that most of the games between the Oilers and the Jets have? often been decided in the third period or even in the last five or ten minutes of a game? Uh, you know, I think it's just uh, it's just the way we play against each other. Uh, you know, all the games have been hard, you know, higher hitting, um, low scoring, which I think, uh, you know, just pertains to the defense. You know, we're playing good defense against each other. Uh, there hasn't been a lot of power plays or penalty kills, and when there has been, you know, um, they've been getting killed off. So uh, looking forward to tonight, and uh, it'll be a battle again. Kelly Moore, CJOB. Hey, good morning, Josh. Couple questions for you here. Uh, number one, uh, where are we at on the Archibald versus Shifley leaves the line last competition? <laughs> uh, you know, I just had to mess with them that one time early on in the season. Uh, you know, I, I'm not too superstitious on things like that, but I know he is, so I was just trying to get in his head. Um, but you know, as as far as it goes anymore, uh, he can have it all he wants. Uh, I'll worry about myself and uh, our team and uh, just go from there. And, and speaking of your team, Josh, uh, you know, before, I mean, earlier in the series, uh, perhaps it was perceived uh, that uh, the Winnipeg Jets uh, with their deep set of forwards might be able to take advantage uh, from a depth perspective uh, if Leon and Connor were playing on the same line. But that has not been the case. Is that a badge of honor for the guys who are don't have last names of McDavid and Dreisaitl for how well you guys have played in this series? Uh, I mean, I think if you look up and down our lineup, we're pretty deep, if uh, just not as deep as they are. Uh, so I think that says a lot about our team too. But, uh, you know, it's it's good for them. They, uh, you know, they've been carrying us all year long and they're the two best players in the league. Um, but when it's time for us to step up, you know, uh, our bottom six or bottom nine have been stepping up and, and doing a good job of it. Mark Spector, Sportsnet. Yeah, Josh, you've, uh, maybe the difference between this meeting with Winnipeg and all the other ones is it looks a lot like you guys are going to meet in the playoffs now. Uh, does that shine a different light on this uh, two-game series? Uh, I mean, if that's the case, you just look at it as, uh, you know, game one of the playoffs. you got to go out there, and uh, obviously with 10 games left, it's going to be playoff-style hockey, so why not start now and, um, you know, just show them what uh, they're going to be looking forward to. And And – as such, the Jets and Oilers are kind of playing for home ice advantage. I, I don't need to get into what home ice advantage is worth with no fans, but it's something. And if I know NHL players, you guys are going to fight for it. Is it is that a bone you want to take away from them before we get going in the playoffs? Yeah, obviously you want to have home ice advantage. Um, you know, you, you don't have to go. You don't have to stay in a hotel. You stay at home. You're with your family. Um, obviously still a lot of uncertainty with what's going on with playoffs for us right now. But uh you know, if things keep going the way they are, uh, you, you definitely want home ice advantage. And, uh, you know, we'll do everything we can to try to get that.